Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks that every new player should know before starting to build in the world of Subnautica, and we're going to start right now. So tip number one is going to be location. Now, obviously you're probably going to end up building multiple bases within the game. So whether that's going to be in areas where you're going to want to farm resources or you like to spend a lot more time there because you're exploring, you're going to want hub bases around. But one place that I recommend that you're going to want to put it in is the safe shallows. One, because you're going to spend a lot of time here early game grabbing resources like metal salvage, or limestone for copper. You're also going to be finding small pieces of wreckage here where you're going to be able to scan things like the grab trap that's going to grab fish just like this so that you can get food. Another reason to build in the safe shallows and I've built here frequently myself is at zero point. Zero point is in the safe shallows. Now you don't need to be on PC to find the safe shallows, zero point at all. And this is the zero point. And a lot of guides, whether that's mine or other content creators, start at the zero point. This is dead center of the map. And it's a lot easier to find things that you're looking for, things like moon pool fragments or battery charger or anything like that. Tip number two is hull integrity. Now this is something I really want you guys to think about as you build your base. The more things you add to your base can either add to your hull integrity or take it away. So you can also do things like reinforce the outside. This will add to your hull integrity. Or put a foundation underneath. This will add to your hull integrity, like so. If you add too many things, like glass corridors or windows. All these cool aesthetic things obviously will take away your hull integrity. Now, if your hull integrity falls below where it should be, your base will start to fill up with water. You'll have to patch the holes. And the best way to do it is just kind of like do something like this, which takes it off. Then you can go through, add a patch, like a reinforcement, or the foundation, like this. There's also things like bulkhead doors that you can put inside the corridors of your base, which will add hull integrity. But this is something you really need to plan out and make sure that you have. So putting plates like this is actually probably your best bet because as you unlock things like the outdoor grow bed, you can put them right here, just like this. Then you can grow things like maybe kelp or endgame things like deep shrooms, gel sacks, blood kelp, things like that. So that you don't have to go out to the blood kelp zone to get your deep shrooms or your blood kelp. You'll have it growing in your grow beds right out here. You don't always have to go out to get the creep vine. You have it growing right here makes things a lot easier. Honestly, when you first start the game, you're not gonna have this access to this multi-purpose room or the exterior grow bed. These are gonna be things that you're gonna have to find and scan later in the game. Probably when you first start the game, your base is gonna look something like this. And it's not a problem. We we're all start out like this. So don't be depressed if you start out with a small tube. Just like this. As long as you can come in, you can put some lockers down, it's gonna allow you storage. And this is really what you want early game because you wanna start gathering resources as much as you can. And this is gonna allow you to have storage. You can put some storage over here as well, just like this. Super easy. Later, you can just go ahead, make a new base. You can add onto this or take it away. Next tip we're gonna talk about is powering your base. Now, for a base in the safe shallows, and honestly, early game, the only power you're gonna have is solar power. Now, this isn't an issue. This is actually a great source of power, and obviously, the more panels you have, the more power you have. So, each panel is gonna add about 150 power to your base. 
And as you get things like the scanner room and, or the fabricator and you're doing a lot of crafting or you have the moon pool and you're charging your Seamoth or your prawn suit or what have you, it's going to take away power from your base. The more power you have, so if you put more solar panels on, the more power you have, this is endless supply. You don't have to worry about it. You can also think about building things as you unlock them like thermal, but you need to find a thermal vent. There is one inside the safe shallows. You just need to find it. You need to put that directly over. And as you can see here, it's in the red. This isn't actually the best place to put this. Later on, you'll have things like the bioreactor, which combined with the grav trap that you found in the safe shallows, you can just throw fish inside here and you can generate those fish into electricity. When you start to go into things like dark areas, maybe the blood kelp or things of that nature, you might want to think about something like a nuclear reactor, which you can unlock and build the nuclear rods to power it. This is top tier power that you can get, but, and it lasts a long time, honestly. And when you get to the end game, it's not an issue, but to start out solar panel, honestly, in the safe shallows is king. And I wouldn't worry about anything other than that while you're building your base in the safe shallows. Next, don't forget about your beacons, guys. These are really great, especially when you start finding different areas, not just your bases. Because when you go farther away, you can start to see them. Now, the default color is designed to blend into the water. So if you go ahead and pull up your tablet, and go to Beacon Manager, you can change colors. So this way, I can see it a lot better. This color stands out. I turn around, that one stands out. I can see it better. And the def like I said, the default color really blends in really well and it, it makes it hard to see and it's designed that way on purpose. So make sure you guys change it. As you can see, it really blends in. It's gonna be really key later on as you start building more bases so you can find the different bases. You can name it whatever you want, or you could put beacons on different areas that you want to come back to later on. So whether you guys are still looking for your moon pool, or maybe you're looking for the battery charger, or like a really great wreck that has a ton of massive loot that you can go ahead and scan that's above 200 meters, go ahead and check out one of the videos to the right. And if you have your own tips for building, Leave those down in the comments section for everybody to read as well. And if you have any questions or you just want to talk about it, I live stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Times are down in the description below. I'll see you guys there.